G'day everyone and welcome to the Eternal Gathering, the gallery here with a deck tech for Pioneer. Uh, we've got a Haste Prowess, as I like to call it, deck. A mono red um, Pioneer deck that basically uses a lot of Haste creatures, uh, creatures with prowess, to be able to attack the opponent and take their life total down from 20 to 0 as quick as possible. Uh, whilst utilize, while utilizing a lot of uh, pump spells and burn spells along the way. So let's just go quickly through the uh, creatures uh, on the deck. We've got three Bomac Couriers, uh, creatures with haste, and being able to exile a card face down and uh, able to utilize those cards later in the game uh, if you need more gas. Um, very good card, Bomac Courier. Uh, seeing some play in Pioneer and does really well in this in this deck to be able to have a mid uh, kind of game in mind as a plan B if you're running um, low on on the cards that you need to kind of push those last few bits of damage through. We have four Monastery Swifties and Soul Scar Mages. Uh, they're just in the deck to uh, pump up as well with their prowess triggers. Uh, it's, it can get a bit out of hand. Um, Monastery Swiss B and Source Gum Edge uh, round off the final cards that are one drops uh, in the creature slot. Then we go down to Bow Crusher Giant. Uh, good creature to have in the early and mid game, a 4 3, um, and also having the ability to use it for the 2 damage to any target to be able to, you know, get any creatures off the board that may be in your way when you attack or to do that extra damage to the face to the opponent. Flame Wake Phoenix, another card to, that has evasion, has haste, just being able to get it, uh, you know, in for a few uh, chips of damage, if, especially if the opponent starts to flood the board up uh, on the floor, trying to have another route to uh, go through through the air uh, can be quite helpful. Uh, also, the Ferocious uh, can come into play, bring it, being able to bring it back from the graveyard for one red. Uh, if I control a uh, creature with power four greater, which we can in Shame of the Great Hunt, uh, a creature that has haste for two for four, and also whenever a creature you control deals common damage to a player, put a plus one counter on it, that can also get out of control if um, left unchecked. Finally, Scab Clan Berserker, uh, a card that if you can get it renowned is amazing. Uh, especially against decks in a format like Is It Phoenix, um, where they're playing a lot of spells, non creature spells, and if you're able to get Scab Clan Berserker through for some damage and get it renowned, uh, it can pretty much win the game by itself. Um, then we'll go to the Planeswalkers. We've got Chandra, Fire Artisan, uh, just a way to be able to get some more card advantage uh, in, the mid, uh, and also, uh, in the mid game. Uh, also a good way to do some extra damage uh, inadvertently. Uh, Sark and Dragon Speaker, good for uh, mid game as well, being able to be a 4-4 indestructible haste uh, flying dragon to put that extra bit of damage through or to wipe any creatures on the board that are a bit too strong for our creatures um, by doing 4 damage to any target creature. Then we go to our spells, we've got Build to Smash and Tyler Strength. Uh, giving our creatures some extra oomph in attack. Um, Build to Smash is really good with the Bowmet Courier, especially if you can combine it with Timur Battle Rage. Being able to give that creature double strike and trample with the Ferocious uh, is very, very good, able to do 12 damage or more uh, with these combination of cards. Uh, also being able to inadvertently give plus one, plus one to your prowess creatures um, whether or not you're using it on those creatures themselves or other creatures, it pumps up the team. Wild Slash, uh, Magma Jet, and Exquisite Firecraft are our burn spells. Exquisite Firecraft are uh, really good to do that for damage, especially with Spell Mastery, not being able to counter it um, by your opponent. If you have two or more instant sorcery cards in your graveyard, which you most likely will have. Magma Jet is chosen because scrying is very important for this deck. Uh, you've also got Tiny Strength having the ability to scry. Uh, being able to look at the next few cards and seeing if you need uh, to either have the you know extra 
gas that you need or being able to get some extra mana to play those bigger uh, spells that you have or um, chain some spells together uh, and wild slash uh, just a good card in the meta game overall like the stage also helping to be able to uh, go through the deck a bit more get some more gas uh, especially if you can use the spectacle cost only 19 mountains in the deck uh, most of the time you're going to be uh, pretty good with three mountains only if you want to get to the mid to late game uh, is when you want to be getting the uh, Chandra's and Sarkins and there's only one each in the deck um, so you're not really wanting uh, to get too many mountains into your hand or too many lands into your hand uh, so 19 mountains I've found to be uh, pretty much a sweet spot for this deck uh, we go to the sideboard. We've got Torment's Crypt and Grafdigger's Cage to um, stop the Is It Phoenix and the Dreadless Dredge decks in the format. Pick the Needle, very good card to have just in any Pioneer deck uh, in your sideboard, just to be able to stop mostly Planeswalkers at the moment, but other uh, cards that have activated abilities that might be uh, troublesome. Fry um, is also in the deck to be able to stop. Teferi Time Reveler, which can be very uh, annoying to be playing against uh, as you want to be playing your pump spells at instant speed um, and your also your damaging spells and your direct damage. Um, so being able to get him off the board is important and Fry is in the sideboard for that. Uh, Skullcrack, another weakness that the deck has is against uh, decks that gain life. Skullcrack can uh, stop that and also get a little bit more reach. Uh, against those types of decks, Smash the Smithereens, being able to go against like you know the harder scale decks, and also there's a there's a few artifacts here and there in uh, in de in decks, and also coming in from sideboards uh, from uh, most decks as well. So bringing that in, um, getting extra damage as well, destroying artifacts, pretty much a two for one uh, in that regards. Uh, it can be something that's more of a flex slot uh, depending on your meta, uh, but that's something that I've played in this deck. And finally, Chandra Awakened Inferno, uh, a great card against control matchups in specific, uh, being able to play it, uh, not being able to be get, get countered, and then plus two to get the emblem to do one damage uh, to your opponent and just put that extra few damage uh, through. Finally, just want to go quickly through uh, the mana curve here. As you can see, a lot of one drops and three drops. Um, so once you get to that 3 mana, you're pretty good for the most part for this deck. Um, you mostly want to play, you know, first two spells, um, the 1 drops, either playing a Bomek Courier, um, Soul Sky Mage, or Monetary Swiss Bee, followed by another Monetary Swiss Bee, and then a Pump Spell turn 2, and then turn 3, Pump Spell, and hopefully uh, to move Battle Rage uh, to finish off the match. Um, this deck can be very quick. Uh, can do a lot of damage in a short amount of space, especially if they, uh, you know, don't block and you get creature through with prowess, it can really, really, really mess up your opponent. Um, especially if they don't know what your plan is in the first game and they don't realize that, you know, you're playing all these pump spells. Uh, so finally, just want to go through 5 mythics, 20 rares, 16 uncommons, and 16 commons. This deck is about $100, give or take. Um, so it is not that expensive as a deck, uh, it's performed pretty well in the games that I've played with it and the playtesting that I've had. Um, if you guys want to see some gameplay footage, I'll be posting that up at a later date. Um, otherwise, I will be posting some more uh, quick deck techs like the one you see today uh, for other Pioneer decks that I have been uh, playtesting uh, as well. I'll be posting a deck list in the description section of uh, the video, so if you want to have a look at that link, uh, by all means do so. Um, I guess that's it for today's quick deck tech. Uh, everything on the stack has resolved, and good games everyone!